Hey guys, Raptor Cosmos here, back to you with another tutorial video. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to sculpt abs for your custom Lego minifigures. So first off, I'd just like to say there are two two main types of sculpting material. I know there's uh, air dry, which is another one, but the two main types that I use are Super Sculpey and Epoxy Putty. Super Sculpey is basically just Sculpey. Uh, there are tons of brands of Sculpey and Epoxy Putty. I usually normally, or I usually use, mil, well, I, I use Milliput right now, and I usually use green stuff. I was just testing this uh, new material out, and I normally use uh, Super Sculpey because it's one of the cheapest uh, routes to go. There are huge, uh, huge boxes, and they they're only at least ten dollars, and I know. You can get small packages of super or small packages of different types of Sculpey for seven. So that's a lot more. This is like at least maybe five times as much in there, maybe less. But anyway, those are the two sculpting materials that I normally use. Today I'll be showing you guys how to sculpt with epoxy putty. Um, super Sculpey is a lot better for beginners. I started out with Super Sculpey. I bet a lot of customizers started out with Super Sculpey. It's a lot easier to use. It's a lot uh, if you're not fast with uh, sculpting and because Epoxy Putty has four hour time to dry and normally it's really hard to sculpt because you don't have like the I guess the ability to sculpt as fast. So if you guys want to start out with Super Sculpey it's a lot better or you could start out with air dry clay which is basically milliput Except, or it's basically just epoxy putty except this is a two part mold and I think it's a lot more durable I tried using uh, air dry clay uh, before I have a couple of friends that use air dry clay and their minifigures come out amazing so it's all it all comes down to you I just suggest these things that I use but it uh, goes just to what you like what you prefer better and I prefer prefer super scopey and epoxy putty First step is you're going to want to get sculpting tools and your material. Obviously, I'm using these two, or I'm using a milliput. So what you're going to want to get is I got this cool little set. It actually just came like these, uh, the like wooden handles, and they're just it's called a pottery tool set. They work fine with Lego minifigures, but you can get a bunch of them. I believe I got them for seven dollars. Pretty inexpensive. Uh, these guys were a little more. They were nine dollars, and only three of them. But technically, there's six of them because they're double sided. And I really like to use them for heads. I normally like to sculpt them for faces to make them fully detailed because they, you can make them for the nose and the eyes and the indents in their face. But you could you could use it for the abs if you have if you already have these tools. Another thing, if you don't want to go out and buy tools like these, you guys can just use the normal toothpick. There are, I know there's a lot of types of toothpicks. I suggest getting the wooden ones and that are pointy. I made the mistake of getting flat ones, uh, but they help, actually helped me sculpt a couple of figures like Charlie 27. You guys can see that. So toothpicks are one of the main tools that you guys can use if you don't want to go out and buy tools like I said before. So I I'll be using the tools, but don't get, get discouraged if you don't have them. Just use toothpicks. Or if you want to use Super Sculpey, then I suggest using uh, rolling pins because you can flatten it out. And then I have this cutter here. Or you could use an X-Acto knife. But there are so many options that you guys can do. You can even use a uh, Q-tip if you want. Um, there are so many options that you can go to. And if you want to take the cheapest route, I suggest getting toothpicks and just and super sculpey. Lastly, you're going to need a torso. So now I'm going to go in depth and show you how to sculpt the abs. So the epoxy putty normally comes out in tubes like this, part A and part B. You can no, they normally come in part A and part B. I don't know whether or not they come. You have to buy them separately, but they usually come in the same package. So I'll just move the rest of these things aside and I'm going to show you how to sculpt the abs. So, uh, if you are still a beginner, I've been, I have been sculpting abs. I've been practicing and uh, sculpting abs, and originally I started out by tracing over uh, this piece of plastic and traced the torso's outline onto the plastic, and I cut out the plastic, and I just uh, sculpted on Super Sculpey just to 
practice. I won't be showing that now, but you guys can do that. Just trace the torso. Again, just trace the torso and then just sculpt on Super Scoopy or Pax Putty and onto that piece of plastic. Okay, so the first step is you're going to want to mix the part A and part B. So what you're going to want to do first is if you've checked out uh, on my second channel, Raptor Updates and Extras, you've probably seen a video called Using Milliput. It's not an, a tutorial. I don't, uh, it's like just, uh, it's not even reviewing the product either. It's just using it, how I use these uh, things. And it briefly shows how to use this, how to use epoxy putty. I know I just show how to part A and part B and mix it together. But I think I'm going to make an, a whole nother, another tutorial on how to use this stuff but then but again I'll just briefly brush over the steps of how to make the part A and part B mix together so it's pretty simple all you have to do is take an even amount 50 50 50 50 but it, uh, it it can be it doesn't even have to be exact it can be like but don't overdo it don't have too much of this and a too little of this. Have it around the same amount. You can probably tell. Next, you're going to need a cup of water, uh, just because this this stuff makes your hand all dry. And so, if you put moisturize your hand, then you'll be able to mold and knead the epoxy putty more easily. But if you put too much water, I've tested out with this guy. Not so much on green stuff. But if you mold, uh, make your hands too wet, it'll just get it. You make your hands greasy and all the material will get all over your hand and it'll be a mess. So that's pretty much it on just a brief way to do it. So I'm going to be sculpting now and I'll do I'll be doing a tutorial. I'm not going to be doing any speed things right now. I'll just be telling you guys like step by step. That's what I meant to say. So we're gonna get into it. So in sculpting, there are two methods of doing this. Well, there are a couple of methods of doing this, but the two main methods that I like to do is either just spread the clay or the epoxy putty out onto the torso, then just carve in the lines of the abs. But what I normally do is I put, I usually take bits and pieces of this uh, mixed together part A and part B of milliput together, and I usually like to just take little balls like this and just put them onto the torso like this, like that and just well basically just take my tool or take one of these tools and just, just scrape around just to make the abs or to make the pecs but what you what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a reference picture just to see how they look that's what I'm doing right now I have a picture off to the side um, of the camera and I'm just looking at that as a reference. So what you're going you're not going to be really making the rib cage. You're just going to make the either four or six abs, six pack or the four pack, and you're going to be making the pecs. So I guess uh, right now I'll be doing a combination of either spreading it out and then doing the dots. So I'm just going to take a small amount, I don't know if you guys can see how small that is, but it's pretty small. And just go, just placing it on there. So I've been, I did this for another custom, and I was experimenting on that guy too. Oh, I was experimenting on that guy. And what I did was to help me, another way to help me was I just uh, took a pen, or I took a Sharpie, I mean, and I just traced around the, where the pectoralis majors were and where the abs were. Okay, so so the dots are right there, and you put on both dots before you start sculpt or before you start shaping it. I mean, so you're going to want to get the same size of it, the same size, or reasonably same. So you have that. So now you're going to want to flatten them out. So as you can see, I got too much on the on my left one. I believe it's your right. So I'll be removing more of it. So now we have the oops the piece, and we'll just be placing it on there. Uh, excuse my hands. Uh, if you guys can't see how I'm doing it, I'll try my best. So here we go. So now it looks like two eyes, 
and now you're going to want to shape it. So I'd suggest getting either a flat tool just to flatten these out right here. That and then flatten them more here. So as you can see, I'm pushing on them to make more of a triangle in between the two packs. And I'm beginning to shape them. And now I'm just smoothing them out uh, with my finger. You guys can sand it down after they're dry. We can do that already. Um, your fingerprints will be visible on the sculpt. So what I like to do is I like to take a, a file or a, a file or sand block and just sculpt out, or not sculpt out, sand out the fingerprints. So there we go. So. Now that we have the pecs, we're going to be making the abs. The abs will have to be really small. If you have giant hands like me, you'll probably want to use a cutting tool or just do your best with your hands. So I got the smallest piece I could get was about this size. And you're going to want to be making either six or four of them. I'm, I'm making six right now. So you're going to want to put one. So there we go, one. I'll be needing to get a couple more. You're not going to want to put too much because you don't want the abs to be protruding out of the torso because it's more of a, a skinnier sculpt because you don't want like huge things coming out on, you don't want uh, huge abs and then huge pecs because it'll just be too bulky and it wouldn't look good with the arms unless you're sculpting onto the arms, which I'll be doing another tor tutorial on them. But here we go. Here I have the next one. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll be putting it on. So remember, this is not going to be the full product. You're going to be have to doing, you're going to be uh, having to sand and weave around into them so you can make the uh, shapes more prominent I guess you would say so now I'm going to be putting on the oops sorry about that so you're just going to want to even if it's too big just split it in half and you could add more later. So. So if the pieces are too big, you can just push it up, push them up a little like this. So there you go, you have your um, pecs and six pack. Take either your finger or a tool and just just sculpt around, make uh, them more. You're just going to want to push into the sides. Just kind of centering the things a little more and just shaping around figure and now you're going to want to take a you can use an exacto knife I wouldn't suggest it but just take either a toothpick or a sharp ob uh, a, just like a long thing and just just put it down the middle just so you can center them a little more so there you go just going to flatten it out a little more So there you guys go. There's how you make the six pack. I'll be doing uh, more on it. Uh, I'll probably be showing how to sculpt um, arms onto the mini, or how to sculpt uh, bulky arms onto the minifigure because I have a bulky figure. This is, um, 
if you haven't seen this guy already, but I have my custom Lego Wario. Uh, and he's pretty bulky, so I'll be making a custom arm for him. And I just dropped him. But, anyway, I'll be making a custom sculpt of his arms, because obviously Wario is a big guy. But anyway, back to the thing. So that's how you make the sculpt. Uh, just a summary of it. So have two, uh, you take a bunch of uh, clay, cut them up into small pieces, then roll them around on your hand, and uh, press them onto them, making shapes, and then uh, and then uh, make have two big ones and six small ones, or four small ones if you have a four pack, and you don't really necessarily need to have the rib cage in there. Uh, but you can, but I wouldn't recommend it if it's your first time sculpting. Also, you can either sculpt on a piece of plastic for your first time and then just try it out later. But overall, this figure turned out really nice. Or not the figure, the uh, abs turned out really nice. And I will be sanding them once they dry. I won't be showing you how to sand them, but if if your fingerprints are visible, then you can just... Just slightly uh, just brush over it. I suggest using a sand block because these guys are pr these guys are pretty powerful uh, and sand blocks are more are weaker. But anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my m second channel, Raptor Customs, which I uh, hinted or which I said in the past. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, be sure to check out Cooper Tube Customs. And GeoBrick Customs, we're doing a Pokemon collaboration video on all the starters, except I don't know about the Alola starters yet. I'll have to ask CooperTube Customs. But anyway, be sure to check out my Google Plus account. It's Raptor Customs slash Updates and Extras. You can probably check it out. Uh, you can check it out off my homepage. There's a link in the description that says second channel and then has my Google plus account you can check it out there so thanks again for watching uh, i'll be making more videos like these and more showcase videos thanks guys